a good night so far. Abby McCarthy with you on Scruff of the Neck TV. And our stream headliners are here. Oh, yes, they are ready to bring some fun and some energy to your Wednesday night. Welcome to the show, Johnny from Baby Strange. Hello. Hi, Abby. How's it going? Yeah, really good, thanks. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. I'm just blown away by your sock game. Look at that. Yeah, it's a red my favourite colour, but clearly I'm lying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a statement sock. I didn't get the memo, I'm sorry. Yeah. Next time. Next, Next time, time definitely. Yeah. Uh, as always, taking your questions from the chat, so get involved. The more scandalous, the better, should we say? Definitely. Yeah, okay, yeah. Get juicy. Juicy questions, please. Uh, so all the way from, from Glasgow to Manchester, uh, how was how was that journey? That was fun. Um, usually I would have probably moaned about something like this, but because we've not done it in <laughs> so long, um, we left at like 7 a.m. Uh, yeah, it was nice. Bit of sunshine, you know, it was good fun. Yeah, good like fun. you say, normally you'd moan, like, oh, that's quite a few hours in the car, but I yeah. guess because you haven't, for ages, you woke up like, yes, it's it's gig day. Yes, I get to sit in a sweaty van with four people. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> that's exactly it. <laughs> uh, anything to report from the journey? What service station did you stop at? Um, I, I don't actually know the name, but there's a very fancy one that the boys got, like, some, like, like top-end stuff from. Oh. A cheese and onion pie. It was luxury. So yeah. I think when, when we head back... I'm getting involved. Yeah. Because I missed the boat, you know? Yeah. I missed oh, the boat. I was gutted. Yeah, I was yeah, totally Yeah, on the gutted. way back, do let me know what service station, because I've stopped at a few rubbish ones in my time on, on the way back yeah. from DJ gigs. I'm just like, oh, no, is that all you've got? You know? I feel you, yeah. We have we have tasted some horrible food over the years. <laughs> horrible food. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, a new song from you guys, I Want to Believe, is out tonight at midnight. It's very exciting. We That's can't wait for this song to come out. Yes. I mean, me either. I can't wait to hear it. So give us the early scoop on this song. What can you tell us about it? Um, the song's kind of written from the like the point of view of someone that is extremely religious, mm -hmm. um, that wants to be accepted by God, but feels like they can't be accepted because they have sinned so much in life. Right. Yeah. So That's it's, an interesting uh, perspective. A, Love that. Yeah, totally. I just kind of... Um, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about like kind of from the eyes of a priest, you know, like of someone that has done things in like in like the past life, or you know, kind of when they were a wee bit younger, uh -huh. uh, how that guilt kind of holds on as you're kind of getting older and stuff like that, you know. Oh right. Yeah. I think everybody's looking for something. If they're not looking for that, it doesn't have to be that. Kind of yeah, level. totally. That's yeah. Uh, uh, oh yeah. I, this is going on, by the way. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking. To be not, it's it's up for kind of it's up for debate. Yeah. Yeah, know? I like that. Look for that in McDonald's or Coca Cola. <laughs> 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 so do you do that a lot though where you sort of write through someone else's experience a lot yeah actually um which can i i think like a lot of folks think the songs are about me and they think i am just uh totally bananas <laughs> like what is happening with this guy <laughs> is this guy a priest i maybe don't know he is. yeah maybe i'm you know <laughs> uh but yeah so i think like there's sometimes you know i'll kind of write a song that is, um, that is kind of like, I've got kind of something else in mind and then it'll mm. kind of evolve into kind of the way I feel. Yeah. This song, not so much, but you know, a bunch of others. Yeah, got you. And it, your song, More, 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 was used on the Champions League highlights, wasn't it? It was. That, that, that is a massive that was, moment. That was Love nuts. That. that was nuts. Um, so I remember watching that because it was Champions League and Europa League, I think, wasn't it? And I was yeah. watching it and I was like, I know this. Multiple nights as well. So, yeah, it was bizarre. You know, we'd heard maybe it, it might get, like, like some shit game, you know, but it was, like, <laughs> the opening night. Oh, the so big one, yeah. we were like, wow. It's, uh, it's very, very cool to see watch. Apart from when they played the song when Rangers won. Oh, oh. And we're all Celtic fans. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. that, that, that. <laughs> yeah, that that was, like, an emotional roller coaster for me because I was, like, so buzzing to hear my song on, you were like, on TV. I was oh. like, but not with this team. Oh. We lost that night. We before. lost as well, so yeah. It would have been worse if it was on when we'd lost. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 that would It could have been much, much worse, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is the weirdest place you've heard your music, like, out and about? Have you ever been in the supermarket and, you know, you'll be a blast um, that or on, like, a weird TV show or... In Tesco, uh, in Glasgow, I heard one of our songs, VVV, which is quite a, like, explicit song. Yeah, I was about uh, to say that. Uh, That's a bit filthy. Like, <laughs> why did they get this on in here? Like, <laughs> those old folk... Picking up cucumbers and all that. Like, this does not fit the vibe. <laughs> um, yeah, um, yeah. So the uh, Tesco, we've kind of he heard it in, like just kind of like shops like H and M and all that. Or you kind of stand the ones, but yeah, yeah. Like, I think Tesco at like midday was the wow. the strangest thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
That is wild. Big up Tesco. <laughs> um, where would you like your music to be played if you could pick anywhere? You know, you picking like Buckingham Palace? No Are chance. You picking? Um, where could you pick? Um, yeah. A big stadium? Yeah, I mean, to be maybe in your football team's dressing yeah, room. Yeah, uh, oh, that. I mean, that would be amazing. But That'd be good. maybe last year when we were doing a wee bit better, but. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, a bit gutting these days, and you know, uh, but yeah, I think like big football stadium, City Park would be nice. Uh, maybe like to find out that our song had maybe been played before like, a big band that we like, just like to kind of get hype before oh, they walk yeah, on stage. That'd, that'd be, be cool. cool, like their walkout yeah. music. Yeah, let's let's see the strokes. You know. just, the strokes, just say, the strokes yeah. are listening to our new single that is out at midnight before they walk on stage at Primavera next year. That I'm going to, <laughs> right. <laughs> Primavera lineup looks yeah. so good, doesn't it? I doubt that's happening though, is it? Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. Let's who, hope. who bloody knows at this point? Let's hope. <laughs> uh, and you've got a new EP on the way, I believe. Yeah, we've got an EP called um, Land of Nothing that's coming out on the 30th of April. Amazing. Yeah. So, how has this record been made? Has it been made in lockdown? Parts of it. Um, right. We had two songs ready beforehand. Um, more, 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 and Club Sabbath were recorded beforehand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the rest was kind of written over lockdown. Um, we went and stayed in a house together to quarantine after we st- uh, we went to Sweden together. Mm-hmm. Um, we stayed in the house and we wrote the rest of the record. And yeah, it was a nice, uh, a nice bonding experience for sure. Yeah. yeah. How was Sweden? Was that... We love Sweden. Was that a working trip? Yeah, we kind of <laughs> went over there to, to do like a stream, to like oh, okay. sign a record uh, deal and stuff. So that was like an exciting one, but um, amazing place. But the drinks are far too expensive. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. been to Stockholm and I'm... It was a That's bit like daylight that, robbery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah <bad. laughs> now, you guys have supported and toured with so many killer acts over the years. I mean, Jamie T, Slaves, who I'm a huge fan of, The Vaccines, yep. Frank Carter on the Rattlesnakes. I'm, I'm probably missing some people here, but what are your favourite memories from live shows? Um, I remember kind of when we first started uh, the band Palma Violets. Mm. They kind of took us under the wing. Um, you know, kind of like we supported them on tour and like we were sleeping in a van, just like sleeping actually in the van and oh. like the van had like holes in the floor. Oh, you were and freezing. It was so cold <laughs> and it was in February, right? And so oh, gosh. then that next tour, they asked us again, but this time they were like, but you can come and sleep with us in the oh. big massive, uh, you know, like this. In the plush tour This van, big bus yeah. and totally free. You know, I was like, that is a, that's a great thing to do, you know, for like such a, Kind of small band really yeah uh, and I think Sports Slaves has always been fun because like you know Booger Pals those guys Bits yeah. Academy yeah that was fun yeah great fun yeah scenes that I remember that well uh, and you guys are going to be back doing what you do best back on tour later this year I mean how pumped are you to, to get out there and just oh, we're so we're so excited hit many you know. people as possible yeah um, I think this tour has been moved this is like the third time oh what <laughs> so, <laughs> so when is it gonna be? Hopefully, there's not a fourth time. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, October, November, December. Okay. Uh, gonna be doing a bunch of ones in England and one in Glasgow. And then yeah, I think we're kind of looking at Europe for a start next year as well. Amazing. Which, is, which we're really pumped about. Yeah. Can't where wait to is get that. Uh, where is your favourite place to play? Is it Glasgow? <laughs> being from there, or I mean, it's it's probably up there, but like. A close second is maybe like Birmingham. Love Manchester as well. Mm. Super rowdy crowds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love that. And how do you find the, the music scene in Glasgow? Do you find it quite a supportive one? Definitely. Mm. You know, it's all happening in Glasgow right now. It really like, is. Like, you know, Scottish mu- music is 100% on the map, isn't totally it? Totally. About time as well. You know, it's like, you know, like maybe like back in like 2012, kind of 13, it seemed like there wasn't that many good bands from Glasgow. It was just mm. like kind of like just a lot of folk bands and stuff and okay. bands that I mean like probably good to like their fans, but just like not my taste. Yeah, yeah, got um, you. Yeah, so it's I just think even there was folk stuff that we enjoy as well. Yeah, to yeah, honest, totally. But Admiral I Fallow and all that are, are all great. Going out after you know going out and going mad at a gig is a different thing. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Was a sort of hunger for that. lack of energy almost. Uh, and playing in small venues again and just getting back to basics and. Yeah, because when I think of somewhere, say, like, King Tut's, I think of, like, a loud band having it on stage and, and the crowd going wild. That's, like, just what I associate with Glasgow now. Totally. I yeah. mean, there's, like, King Tut's, we love stereo. Uh, the Priory, obviously, is, yeah. like, the, the best small venue in the UK, 
in the UK, I would say. Really? Without a doubt, yeah. It's just like, it's 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 not meant to be a venue. It's just like low ceilings, no stage. It's just built. It's oh, just wow. built on vibe and just like folk just like going for it. Love that. And of course, like the Battlelands is amazing. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. Yeah, where's the dream venue for you guys to play, would you say? I mean, we've done the Battlelands a couple of times, kind of supporting people, but that is like the goal here. Mm. Um, you know, kind of looking at next year, tailing the Battlelands. Yeah, that would be sure. that would be a good feeling. And then the hydro. Obviously. Hydro? Oh, come on. <laughs> the hydro car park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah as long outside. as you can say the hydro, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and outside of great music and the energetic live shows that you're known for, you've also got a clothing line, which I love. I thought that was a secret. Oh, is it a, no, is it no, a little no, secret? No, I'm sure can, yeah. uh, pure evil clothing. Everyone go and check it out. So what made you want to start that? We've always loved clothes, mm. um, you know, and we actually kind of used to sell these tops. It said pure evil on them uh, mm. as merch and like they would always sell out like, right. every single time. So we kind of thought, I mean, we don't want to just kind of keep on doing the same band merch for years and years, mm. you know, so let's mm. maybe kind of separate it. And it seems like it was like like a wise thing to do because like folk love it. Yeah, 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 you know? definitely. Folk love it. Yeah, and it's a lot of time on our hands recently. A lot of time on our hands, yeah. No yeah. gigs and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've had the time to send out the deliveries yeah. recently, I guess, yeah. haven't you? Don't, and don't ask for what's next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, all this extra time, has that got you plotting anything else mad? <laughs> um, maybe. You know. A fragrance range, <laughs> maybe? Yeah, or, yeah um, maybe some like some like wax for like hair or something, you know, something uh, stupid like that. Oh, socks. yeah. Yeah, um, socks, red socks. socks. Yeah, These socks actually go right off to here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> what I did notice <laughs> about your your clothing range though is it's all it's all like organic and like ethical and stuff, which is yeah. which is great. I mean, that was like super important for us, you know, mm. um, the planet. No, so. Yeah, got to look after. Got to do a bit. You've got to look after it. Exactly that. Exactly that. Right. Let's get some questions from the chat. Let's see what they're saying. Are you ready? You did say scandal. Oh, I'm ready. Oh. Yeah, right, here we go. Uh, this one is uh, from Space Cunt. Are Jaffa Cakes a biscuit or a cake? The big question. Good question. I was speaking about this last week, actually. Um, <laughs> I think Jaffa Cakes, right, to me, don't hate me, are a biscuit. Boys, what do you think? Close in the name. Close in the name. I know it says Jaffa Cake, but it feels like a biscuit I to me. Th- yeah. In I'd, size. I'd put it in like Don't a you? biscuit no no tin. Waste. Right, I think... W- I think we've found the thing that is going to break up baby strange. <laughs> That's it. They're not doing the show Tonight, anymore. The gig's cancelled. Just it. log off. <laughs> Love a Jaffa cake, though. Ryan. Top tier snack. Come on. You, you've got my back here. Aye, of course it's a biscuit. I mean, because you have cakes. This is why he's in the band, because, you know, <laughs> we've got this. Event, we've got like a. <laughs> we've got a brainwave. Totally, yeah, yeah. It's like the, the Jaffa cakes would be oh, in the biscuit tin. Yes, yeah, no, exactly. The biscuit tin. Okay, so you've only got a couple of members left, I think, after this. Yeah, after all totally. These, these Just me and Ryan, a two-piece. <laughs> <laughs> Lots more work. Yeah. Uh, right, M. Bantam says, you're given an elephant, you can't steal it or get rid of it. So what do you do with it? You've got an elephant, an elephant in the room. Ready to work. <laughs> cool. Oh my God, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, great. Love the that. king of Glasgow? Just, so build, just like sitting somewhere. on a big elephant. Yeah, totally. Second album artwork, maybe? Yeah, totally. That would be class, wouldn't it? I don't think that would get old either. Imagine, yeah, you're playing the Barrowlands next year because it's going to happen and you, <laughs> you come out on stage on an elephant. I do you think that would even fit on a stage or maybe it was needed to do the hydro. Because <laughs> you need the elephant. Exactly. Like, I like it. Like 2,000 tickets sold. <laughs> it's like 10,000 to go, but it's worth it because I've got a big elephant in the room, yeah. I like the ambition. Right. Uh, MC Div says, are you still into karate? Apparently you used to, you used to love it. It was actually judo, McDiff. <laughs> um, and for asking that question, you're getting chopped next time I see you. <laughs> judo, okay. What, uh, yeah, what, what I recognise that name. I recognise that name actually. Yeah. That's noted. Yeah, That's noted. noted to everybody <laughs> in here. I know judo, but yeah, I know that name. Oh yeah. right. Yeah. Should McDiff. I be scared? Are you accomplished? Uh, no, nah, I was rubbish. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. McDiff could probably beat me in a judo match, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Craig72 says, uh, plans for a strange sweat fest in the Priory? As always. I mean, we done like, was it three nights last time we played? Um, 
Love that. We could probably just try and do the full week <laughs> next time. You know? That would be cool. Yeah, totally. So what did you do? Like a residency where you kind of took yeah. it over? Yeah, no, it was just like we, we booked a show on the Friday and it sold out in like seconds. So then it's the Saturday and then the Sunday. Great. You know, uh, and then of course we're thinking, oh, but let's just Monday, Tuesday, like now. <laughs> you've got to stop at some point. <laughs> let's just do a fortnight. You, you've got let's to stop it. Like, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Hang on a minute. Rain, rain it in, rain it in. What are your plans for the rest of the year, like all being well? Obviously that tour is like very much your focus and you can't wait for that to happen. But what else are you thinking? We are in the middle of writing our second album. Okay. Uh, that's actually booked in. We start recording that at the end of May, which we're totally buzzing about. Mm-hmm. Um, we are bringing out a seven inch mm-hmm. for record store day. Hey. Um, a song of ours and a cover, which will be revealed for shortly. Um, oh, are you playing the cover tonight? We are not, sadly. Oh, enough. okay. <laughs> Can you give us a clue? Uh, it's by like an obscure Swedish artist that like, you know, I think, uh, he's called Nicky William, the guy. Oh, okay. This song's called Pathetic Fuck, which is, uh, which is fun. Okay, yeah. I don't know actually, I'm excited though to hear your uh, It's a great song, mm. it's, uh, it's great. Um, yeah, we're just going to finish the records um, and that comes out at the end of the year. And then this tour hopefully will happen. Yay. Yeah, and that's that's us packed for the year. Yeah, love that. Yeah. What are you most excited for when everything's on, everything's open? What are you going to do first? Go to a beer garden. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'm so excited to just be sitting in a beer garden, cold pint, hugging some pals when that's totally. eventually allowed. That'll be lovely. I can't wait to hug I some pals. Yeah. Being spontaneous. It's the one thing as well where yeah. someone just totally. appears, oh, have a drink. Or, yeah. You know, there's no it's, it's all not, the friends it's you not make, this isn't big it? Plan. Yeah. It's a big yeah. plan. Oh, no, I've got to like do that first and then yeah, that. Yeah. You know, everyone seems just kind of sucks the fun out of it. But Yeah. It's all the people, yeah, you just meet in the beer garden yeah, or yeah. I just meet people in the toilet and they become my best mate and yeah. we're chatting and it's, it's all lovely. Yeah, I miss all of that. Now, I've got a little game for you guys, mm-hmm. if you're ready. Mm-hmm. So it's based around the title of your new single, which is, of course, I Want to Believe... Stream it tonight, kids, out on midnight. Make make it make it a smash. Um, so I'm going to read out some quite crazy statements and facts, and you need to say whether you want to believe or you don't believe okay. that they're true. Okay. Obviously, you guys feel free to to shout from stage as well. Okay. The first one: a woman named Violet Jessup survived the sinking of both the Titanic and its sister ship, the Britannic. I want to believe. I believe. You want to believe that? Yeah. And it's true. Isn't that amazing? I know it's true. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I said, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was nicknamed Miss Miss Unsinkable because she literally <laughs> she literally <laughs> can't sink. What a name. Sinkers, what a name you Imagine know. flexing that in the pub garden. <laughs> Miss hey, it's Unsinkable. Me. It's me, Miss Unsinkable. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have a beer. Cheers. She's uh, bad okay. luck. She's bad luck, is what you <laughs> yeah, a couple of beers. Huh? <laughs> uh, next one. <laughs> Cheetahs can't roar. They can only meow. What do you think? I want to believe. I want to believe. Yeah? I believe that, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of... See, look, this is good. There's a bit bit of unison between the band now after the Jaffa Cake incident. Uh, <laughs> it is, in fact, true. You were right to believe. So there are only four big cats that can roar, which is lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars. Cheetahs have actually apparently only got like a little voice box. They're like, meow. Mummy. Which is, which is so <laughs> weird, this huge animal, and then they're just really cute and sweet. Yeah. Um, okay, human children don't get kneecap bones until they're around six years old. What do we think? I don't believe. I don't believe. Don't believe? Oh, I believe. Okay. A uh, crew, what do you think? No. Oh, they don't believe, don't believe. Well, it's, it's sort of been twisted. It is false, but kids don't get kneecaps, kneecap bones until they're three years old. So it was a bit of a wow. bit of a twisted one. Um, okay, in a room of twenty-three people, there's apparently a better than fifty percent chance that two people have the same birthday. What do we think? Obviously, everyone in the chat needs to get involved as well. Is it true that that you could have the same birthday as somebody in a room of twenty-three people? You could, but it's not. Yeah, I don't believe that. No, I don't think so. Not statistically likely. I don't know. What's the chat think? Oh, a lot that same false as well. So yeah, lots of no's. You know what? It's actually true. Apparently, it's called the birthday wow. paradox. That's a good one. You're only ever like 23 people away from somebody who's got the same birthday as you. That is weird. Uh, okay, this one. Courgette is actually the feminine noun of cucumber. 
Do you want to believe or I, do you not believe? I, I don't think I believe that. No? No. What the chat's saying? Oh, yeah. It's got that. It's got that time. I stream with cucumbers Thank already. you, M, for pointing this out. The lag on this, because yeah, I have no idea <laughs> which ones you're saying true <laughs> to. I'm hoping you're saying that the the courgette one is put, true. Put a cucumber emoji beside your. Uh, that's beside it. Your we answer. need some emojis next to your answer so we can we I'm can a detect. Modern man, what can I say? Um, that one, however, as Cheeseball78 just said, according to our chat up here, it is false. Yeah. I just made that one up for fun. Okay, <laughs> couple more for you. So the inventor of the Pringles can is now buried in one. True, <laughs> must be true. Bleak, right? <laughs> but do you, How do you small was he? He's <laughs> <laughs> that size. He was a very tiny man. They're not the most wasteful. <laughs> oh, it's just like a huge tube. He's got, he, he's right. in, so know. we need, that's it. As Charlie Drums has done. So true. So there's, he's saying true for Pringles. There's no chance. If this is true, that's how I'm getting buried. I'm just letting you all know. <laughs> Is he in chip form? Brilliant. I hope this is true. I know uh, a couple of people saying it's false. <laughs> I don't know, man. Apparently, I don't. it's true. Oh, <laughs> so the guy is called uh, <laughs> Frederick Barr, and he was so proud of his invention that he wanted to take it to the grave. Quite, is quite it not, literally. Is it not one of the most wasteful like packaging there is. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a. Well, He's probably still underground though, isn't he? Yeah, preserved. <laughs> Eating a tub of Pringles. You could, yeah, you could crack open that tube and uh, there he'd be. <laughs> this has got really bleak really yeah, quickly, hasn't I, I, it? I'm um, loving it. Right. Loving this. Uh, the, the man who created the font, everyone's favourite font, Comic Sans, has only used it once. We're what do we think? That, There's right? actually um, a cafe just outside and their font on the window is Comic Sans. And, no and way. I was like, I was like that sure, that's a joke. Or? Comic Sans, people actually use that stuff. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like ironic or just yeah. like lazy. It's got to be ironic, hasn't it? It's the but, only way. Uh, what do you think, though? Do you think he likes his own font? Just like made the font and then that was it? Yeah, that was it. I would say that's, um, I would say that's true because it's a yeah, shape yeah. font. You guys are saying true. The chat is saying <laughs> Comic Sans is disgusting. Nice. Yes, saying what we're all thinking there. Comic Brian Sans saying, is life changing. Brian thinks that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Comic Sans is life changing. Robbie, did you create the font? Uh, not sure. Um, that is in fact true. Comic Sans was designed by Vincent Conair, and apparently he only used it once because he was having trouble changing his broadband, and he wanted to use a different font in the email to get their attention. So he did that. Wow. And he's never used it since. You can't say I'm not full of great information tonight. This has been this has been very entertaining <laughs> and just like learning all this stuff. So thank you. Uh, should we do one more? Just just because. Let's do it. Uh, our blood is blue. That's not true. Apparently, that's royals that have blue blood. <laughs> blue, <laughs> yeah. Blue. Some of the crew think it's true. But I mean, you guys are saying truths. false. Blue is it not blue in your blood in your body and then it reacts when it comes? Well, that's what I mean. Is that, no, is that what do you true, think? Then? I'm gonna say. I want to believe. Yeah? Yeah. So you want to believe. Some, some oh, wise yeah, the, faces the in this room. Saying, the chat's saying true. Deoxygenated. Deoxygenated. That's yeah, hard to say. Blood is blue. Yeah, a lot of people thinking it's blue. That's actually false. It's yeah. just a myth that we all somehow <sighs> believe. <sighs> yeah. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, because I remember there was something about it at school, but it's I can't out, quite yeah. remember. So, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's false. Okay. So what music have you guys been... Blasting out recently. There's been a lot of good albums out recently, hasn't there? There's like Kid Capici and Black yep. Honey. And I listened to Viagra Boys' latest records. Oh, they're so great. great, aren't they? Great. Um, yeah, Kid Capici's record is also great. Mm. Um, boys, have you what have been here? Just been banging Viagra Boys. Yeah, yeah, they are so good. William on your boy. There you go. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> like that. Anyone else? A lot of Paul McCartney, to be honest. Yeah. Paul McCartney, never a bad thing. Yeah, no. Chuck yeah. Prophet. He's good. He's a good laugh. He's good. Like that. These right. guys called Dancing Pika. These kind of techno guys are great as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll check that out. And what have you guys been watching? What have you been binge Just started watching, watching Peaky Blinders, actually. Have First you? time ever. I know it's a show that I've always wanted to watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Started watching it three weeks ago, and oh, I'm totally hooked. Yeah, you sucked totally in. Totally hooked. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those, when you start watching it, you, you just want to do impressions of them all the time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there 
we go. Better impression than I can do, so thank you for getting me out of jail there. <laughs> Are you guys into uh, Line of Duty? Do you watch that? M- m- my girlfriend likes it. Uh, I- I've watched a few episodes, but I don't... I'm like, just like, nah. It's, oh, is it not for you? It's not for me, but, you know, folk no, love it. it. Folk love it. I so- there's a lot that happens in it because it's like it obviously it just came back. I watched the first episode and I was like, I need to make notes. Like there's so much going on. <laughs> I wish Martin Martin spoken like a Scottish accent and not this kind of oh weird like London accent. Yeah, yeah. That that kind of bums me out. Yeah, yeah. It's not great. Well, it blew. I think it's a good accent in that it blew my mind when I found that he was actually Scottish. Yeah. We know he's Scottish. I guess you know though, don't you? We've always you know. known. He's great. He is great. Love, yeah, he's he's probably my favourite, I would say. But then Vicky McClure also, you know, abs- absolute legend. So what can we expect from this set of yours tonight? Loads of energy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to go, now. Yeah, we are raring to go. Yeah, we're ready buzzing for it. We're buzzing. Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. Ready and raring turn to go. Just the heat up in this room a little bit more. It would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's warm in here, isn't Get it? Get the aircon boys. Warm. Come on, man. Yeah. By headliners, it's always, whoo! It's very, very Getting warm. Toasty. Are there some of these songs that you haven't really got to to road test yet? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like, yeah. I want to believe this is the first time we've ever kind of played it live. We just kind of worked it out, like, two days ago. <laughs> 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 like so, yeah, that? Yeah, totally. Sorry? That makes it super exciting. Well, thank you for chatting to me, Johnny. Thank you, Abby. Go and prepare yourself. Cheers. Um, Get those red socks ready and raring to go. <laughs> <laughs>